right, everyone. Had a lot of rain last night. Um, roads are in a state, so I'm not going cycling today. Instead, I'm going to do some maintenance on my CF Moto 520L. It's uh, 3,000 Ks on the clock. So I'm going to do an engine oil and filter change. And I'm going to remove this cover here and check the belt, condition of the belt. Um, I'm going to remove this side panel as well. Uh, it's a straightforward job. You just undo this one screw here. And then you've got press fit up there and a rubber grommet. You've got one here, one down here, and the one up along there. So uh, I'll remove that. I'll show you what I've been doing anyway to the exhaust system. And then there's two screws here that you have to take out. That one and that one. So I'll do that now. Right, then I've loosened this panel. And what I do with these rubber grommets is uh, just give them a bit of silicone spray, a bit of lubrication. So it uh, makes it easier to, when you when you refit it, just, just slide in and out quite easily. And it's a case of pulling like that. It all comes down. Come out a little bit and then up. When you refit it, just be careful these, these two... Uh, Keep nuts there. See that one? Tend to slide off and drop and down into the belly pan. Anyway, right. I got tired of the um, heat shields around the exhaust always coming loose, even though I torqued them up. These, like these nuts, screws on the, the shield that was there and the one that ran along the back, which cracked anyway. So I just got heat um, blanket tape, wrap that around. Uh, I've had no problems with anything melting, like the, you know, along here. All good. Keeps the noise down. It's effective and it's worked. So that's a good tip for anybody. All right, I'm going to remove this cover now. Look like eight mil. Right, sharp tap on the top, loosened the cover, came off quite easily, everything's nice and clean inside here, got a great big rubber seal that runs all the way around, no tears or anything in that, so no problem using it again. Hey! <laughs> Get out! Just check the belt. Everything's good. Everything's nice and clean and smooth in there and in there and the pulleys. Nothing that concerns me. I'll just give it um, a blast out now with my uh, air compressor. I don't know what's going on with this video. It keeps turning itself off for some reason. Anyway, I've just blasted it all out. It's all clean. belt and all the pulleys are in good nick from what I can see no cracking no nothing that's of concern anyway the pulleys are all smooth there's no grooves dug into them not that I can feel so I'm going to put the cover back on so that's the first job done 
second job is I'm going to change the engine oil and filter. Um, I've already got a filter what I ordered from Lazada, came from China. Uh, just need to go out and get some oil. I've already been out once and looked, but they didn't have it. So we'll have to go to another shop. I've got my torque wrench here, set it for 10 Newton meters. Anyway, you get the idea. Anyway, as I was saying earlier about the grommets, you can see where they are. One there, one there, one there, there, one up there. A little spray. show you what I mean with these grommets um, if you don't lube them you have to you know bang quite hard especially these bottom two and everything else flexes there so you have to put your hand behind and when you do that you know you can dig in it'd be a bit painful I'll just show you how easy it is after lubing them he says there you go look makes it easier That's a 10 mil, that one. Just leave it loose in there. Screw these two in under the wing. <laughs> My bike stable's grown, by the way. To make another video about that what happened <laughs> well that's what I've been up to most of the time go out cycling every day more or less I don't particularly find cycling videos very interesting apart from technical ones Places where I cycle, I've videoed most of them previously anyway, so. I don't see a point in making videos just for the sake of it. That's more or less my life now. Well, I ride my bike. Come on. Feed my chickens and turkeys and what have you. Do a bit of gardening. I'll get my machine out later, my rotavator and uh, my tilling machine. After I've done this. Right. 
to go out and buy some oil now. So let's nip over to the other side. straightforward job is this he says the only things that can go wrong really is make it a mess when you drain the oil and uh, cross threading the bolt when you put it back in or the screw the drain plug so the way to get this off you pull it towards you again you've got those rubber grommets then you slide it to the rear like that as well with that silicone spray so the old filter lives behind here You've got three eight mil screws in there or bolts whatever they are remove those take off the cap the old filters inside so that's the filler stroke dipstick right I'm gonna go out and see if I can saw some engine oil See you later. In case you wondered what the noise was, it's these lot. It's a tree felling. Eucalyptus. Check all the safety gear out. Flip flops. No goggles. <laughs> Good lads. So, I've drained the old engine oil. Got the funnel ready for the top up. And I've got a funnel there to catch any oil that comes out of the filter housing. And uh, I've put my drain bowl underneath. So, remove those three screws. There you go, that's what it looks like with the cap removed. Got the o-ring there, which is all right. Use that again. In this case, just pulling the uh, the old filter out. It can only go in one way anyway, so it's uh, relatively idiot proof. There's a new filter. You can see what it looks like from the other end. And we've got spring in there. In this case, sliding it in. Make sure it seats properly. Sit. Right then. She's done three thousand and twenty one kilometres. So I don't hear any tapping noises or anything coming from the, the head so I'm not going to go through the rigmarole or removing the tank and everything just so I can check the valve clearances. I worry about that when they start tapping. Alright, that should have got the all around. have to screw it in all the way in to check you just go like this what we got yeah 
bang on. Give that a spray. Jobs are good and all done. Right. Put some petrol in that can there. I'm going to put in my, what do you call it, machine, my tilling machine and uh, long till some weeds out. <laughs> 